This is my first NHF. I have Von Willebrand's Type 3. And I came here really for education. I saw the, and I heard that the Von Willebrand's tract was actually being implemented and it was, uh, the information here has been really great. I've also came here for connections and met a lot of people with Type 3 that I didn't know. There was a lot more Type 3s than I thought there was. And we were able to have dinner last night and actually hang out and discuss and uh, there's a lot of new families that have just discovered their kids have had it, so they've been asking me some questions and they really enjoyed some of the conversations we had. My condition has impacted my life when I was younger. I saw it as kind of a, a hindrance. Uh, why can't I be normal like all the other kids? But now it's just been a blessing. I've made so many connections. I've been able to impact so many lives that I didn't think I would ever be able to. And when I was younger, I thought I was by myself, but now I'm just trying to be an advocate and help as much as I can. I'm here because I have a son, Siron Harrington, who is 18 years old, and he has hemophilia B. He comes to the Bleeding Disorders Conference. He knows his friends are going to be there, and you know, and he knows it's people that he can talk to and share his stories with, and, and they'll understand. You know, this community just does so much for us and it's just beyond words. I can't even express it sometimes. I, I tell them on the phone, you know, because, you know, sometimes you may need a little financial help. You may need, you know, emotional support. And they're always there, you know. You can always count on the National Hemophilia Foundation. I have hemophilia A, moderate, uh, factor eight deficiency, and I've been wanting to get more involved with my local community in uh, Utah, and so I figured the best way to do that is to get more involved in the national community. Living with hemophilia in today's day and age really isn't too different than what anybody else can live, uh, just with the recent technologies that we have available to our disposal, and so there's really not anything that I'm not able to do uh, given the uh, opportunities that I have available to me.